everybody, it's Andrea Mercier, aka Enlum, and welcome to my studio. Today is going to be a half experiment and half pour. <laughs> so my art partner, Arlene Murphy, um, and I have a show next year called Collusion Art Exhibit, and there's a link down in the Dibley due to our Facebook page. But we also decided together, we work very well together, that we would like to have some kind of painting classes. And we'd like to be able to do some pours, and then she does image painting and landscapes, so we wanted to kind of mix it all together and see what we could come up with. It was unique and exciting. But one of the problems with my fluid acrylic pours is that it does take uh, several hours to dry. I can put them under a hair dryer and they dry fairly quickly. However, if I had 20 people in a room, I don't think that that's feasible. So I came up with the idea of using some craft paint in lieu of the Liquitex Basics. Uh, craft paint generally is quicker to dry. Um, this is the Michaels brand Craft Smart paint. I picked up some bottles the other day. So the first part of this is going to be mixing it. Um, for this experiment, I'm just going to mix them in cups instead of in my bottles. One, because I don't have any more bottles, I need some more. But two, I'm just doing this for the experiment and the initial pour. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do one of these canvas panels with the craft paint and one of these canvas panels with the Liquitex paint and see how much faster the craft paint dries. And I'm also going to do a pour on a 16 by 20 canvas uh, here with the craft paint and give it to Arlene tomorrow so that she can play around a little bit with it and find something that we can do on top of it in one of our paint classes. So that's what we're doing today. So what I wanted to do was, what do I want to do? Do I want to go 25% with that instead of 50-50? Uh, maybe I should go, oh, where's my calculator? I keep telling you, there's math and art. Trust me. So if I went with 75 grams of paint and then 25 grams of water, let's just try that first. Let's try that first. We can play from there. Okay. Give um, these a good shake. So 75 grams of paint. All right, 75 grams of paint and 25 grams of water. There we go. Let's stir that up. That's interesting. Um, I think we have come up with, it's a little bit liquid, liquidier than these. However, in the classes, I'm not going to be giving people the bottles for squeezing. I'm actually going to be giving them paper cups with paint so that we can just recycle the cups at the end of the class. I'm going to say that that's good because people will be able to pour it easily. All right, that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go with 75 and 25 water. So I'll do the rest of these and fast forward using that formula of 75-25. Oh, 
Okay, so we have our paints. And I'm looking at this and I'm saying, oh, I'm not going to have enough paint to do my 16 by 20 pour, I don't think. Oh. So. So this is my 16 by 20. I'm just going to have enough paint really to cover this. So my uh, experiment here on the canvas panel will have to be very uh, judicious, very light on the paint. Again, we, I just want to see how much faster it dries. Not really anything else. I just want to be able to say, you know, the Liquitex Basics takes you know, an hour to dry, and this takes 15 minutes. So confirming that I made the right decision to switch over to the craft paint for my classes. All right, let me start with the ones that I know. So that is about the amount of paint and the amount of drippage that I normally have. Um, I like the way that's turned out. Let's take the heat gun to it and pop those bubbles. Okay, since I need my craft paint for the pour on the six, 16 by 20, I'm going to just use a little bit here. just so that I can get some color variation and kind of see what's happening. Just a little bit, because I really need it for my other pour. There we go. So we've got about the same amount of paint and drippage going on. This is a little bit thinner, um, but you know what? I like, I like the look. And of course I've been mixing my Liquitex Basics for almost a year now. So I've gotten very used to their viscosity. Let's take the heat gun to that. So we'll let that dry. And at the end of the video, I will come back and show you the results and tell you how long it took to dry. Yeah, that looks really cool. I think I'm going to be happy with this. So here are our two samples. This is the one that was done with the Liquitex Basics and this was the one that was done with the craft paints. Um, they dried in almost the same time. The difference in time for a total dry may have been 10 or 15 minutes on a small piece like this. So obviously with a larger piece, um, there would be some savings of time, but I didn't see a significant savings of time. And then when I started calculating what I pay for the Liquitex Basics, and I get them in really big jars and I mix them 50-50, I only have to add 50% water. These ones come in really small jars and you can't get them in bigger jars and you only add 25% water. When I started doing the calculation for cost, there wasn't a significant difference in the cost. These ones I can get, it's a little bit more expensive, but I can get more at one time and mix more at a time. Whereas this one I would have have to buy dozens and dozens of little tiny bottles to fill one of my Liquitex uh, squeeze bottles up. So in the end Arlene and I decided not to go with the craft paints and to stick with the Liquitex basics. Um, in part two of this video, uh, which you can see right here, I am, I have already done the 16 by 20 throw with the craft paints and Arlene did use it as the sample for the class. So she's painted the Marblehead Lighthouse and she's already um, used the background, but in the future our backgrounds will be 
uh, using the Liquitex Basics. So I hope that you found this video helpful. I certainly encourage you to try and experiment with different kinds of paints and don't let my experience here um, steer you away from craft paints. Craft paints are a very economical way to try fluid acrylic pouring. If you're new to it and you don't want to invest a lot of money, craft paints are good to go and now you kind of have a formula of 75 paint to 25 percent water that might be able to help you get started. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe right here so you can follow me on my artful journey. If you are anywhere in southwestern Ontario and you would be interested in having a paint and palooza painting class at a venue near you, please contact me at anlom at anlom.ca and or see the information down in the dibbly do and we will be happy to come up with a package deal for you for Arlene and I to go and teach you how to paint. It's always better when you're here. Bye!